uh, what do we normally say? Welcome Wel- back to Stove uh, TV. Wait, what do we say again? Welcome back to Stove TV. Oh, okay. Uh, welcome back to Stove Pipe TV. Uh, we've got part two of uh, painting your guns. Um, so Luke here is going to paint a shotgun today. It's a Winchester SXP. Uh, it kind of just sits in my trunk, so it's... That thing needs to be clean. That thing crusty. There's a bit of, there's a bit of rust on it. So we're just going to cover it up and act like uh, that solves all your problems. Uh, also today, our cameraman is not here. Uh, he's currently cupcaking with his girlfriend and left us out to dry. So um, I'm going to be on the camera while Luke's painting. It's not going to be as... Actually, it probably might be better. It's going to be better than my painting or better than me on I was the just talking about the camera work. Yeah, probably. Cameraman kind of sucks. So, but uh, That's yeah, why we don't pay him. Mm. Maybe we should. Do you think if we paid him, he'd... Fuck, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't really have too much of a plan for what I'm going to do, other than it's going to be... Mainly like a foresty, like foresty green kind of camouflage with some foliage. I got this, some kind of cedar or fir frond that I'm going to rest a little off my tree. I did. There are no rules. <laughs> um, that I'm going to try to get some pattern with. Not sure if, not sure if it's going to work, but we're going to try. So uh, first things first, going to take some brake clean, which might ruin the finish but it's going to be covered up so just going to spray it on this towel and hopefully it'll get some of this fucking shit off of it <laughs> that towel's not having it sir <laughs> well it came from your fucking garage hey, you can bring your own stuff you ain't gotta steal my stuff We'll see. Well, at the very least, there's no oil on this now, so paint might stick to it. I could also wipe that down with a microfiber. You got one? Yeah. Let's go find it. Ew. What's wrong with it? I hate microfiber cloth. It makes my fingies feel weird. So, I guess we're just going to wipe it down with this instead of some fucking... Old ass, crusty ass shop towels. <laughs> Much better. It's not crumbling apart from non chlorinated brake cleaner. Well, that didn't get shit off of it, but at least there's no oil on it. So, uh, I think I'm just going to tape the actual bolt up so it's not covered in paint. Piddly ass fucking painter's tape. You could have brought your own. You know what? You're right. Got him. But. Here we are nonetheless, and this shit is piddly as fuck. Uh, that's pretty close. I'm going to trim that up off camera, and we'll uh, get started. So first, I'm going to go with my lightest color in the palette and just do a full base coat on both sides. And it's this like OD greenish kind of color from Rust-Oleum. So Touching it up a little bit. 
get as far under it as I can on one side. All right, well, we'll let that coat dry and flip it over and do the rest. So it's been about three or four minutes. And it's dry to the touch everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over so we can do the other side. This side's the grosser side, so. Okay, so it's dried on both sides, so we're gonna go ahead and do these, these like cedar fronds, I don't fucking know. Um, test sprayed it, it looks kinda cool, so we're gonna go ahead and see what it see what happens. We got a couple of them, see what happens. You know, I it like kind of looks cool. I like it. Let's uh, let that dry and I'll come back and hit it with the brown. Next up, we got the, we got some brown. We're going to hit it and add some more shadows to it, I guess. I don't know, kind of winging it. We'll fix that. <laughs> Just made it worse. That's even worse. <laughs> Just we'll come back to that area. <laughs> Oh, they saw. They saw. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. We'll make it work. 
Now, how am I going to make it work? Well, as the famous Mr. Bob Ross said, there's never a mistake. There's only happy accidents. But this is really teetering the line. So let's, uh, I'm going to flatten this out with the, the green and, uh, then we'll come back through and, uh, fix that. Now to put a band-aid on a bed sore. He's going fan fucking tastic. All right, that'll do. Let's try not to fuck this side up. Work around cameraman here. I'm not moving. Well, Walker, I can tell. Let's go to this one. I'll do one more, like right this way, maybe. I nearly forgot to uh, pull the pump back and paint the mag tube because the black don't match any of these colors. So I'm just gonna spray it with the base coat, the like lighter OD green. So um. Here's the finished product. There were some uh, learning. Well, what'd you learn? If you learned something, what'd you learn? To come in with a plan. <laughs> but even though, even so, without necessarily having a plan, kind of just wanting to paint it because it was getting kind of ugly sitting in the trunk. I don't think it turned out terribly. The, the little feeder things actually did pretty well I think and at the end of the day it's your gun paint it how you want it do whatever you want who fucking cares but I don't think it turned out horrible I'm pleased with it at the very I think it's pretty cool I think it came out a lot better than uh, I thought it was going to be I thought this was going to be <laughs> awful 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, there was no, there was not really much prior planning. It was kind of just a, hey, you want to paint a gun today? And here we are. Um, what uh, what'd you say about the base coat? Oh, um, I kind of wish I'd went with the darker green as the base coat, and then I could throw in instead of just darkening it with the with the pattern, I could have highlighted and darkened. I think that would have made it pop a little bit more, but it was a, it was a learning experience. Next time we, next time I might do something a little bit different. Hey, there you go. But I think that's all we got for you today. So uh, how how do we end these things? Uh, I don't. Uh... Shoot the camera or something. There's no cameraman today, so we can do that. Yeah, um... we did not flag anyone. YouTube. <laughs> There's no one behind the camera. <laughs> Wait, who's that back there? Whoopsie. <laughs> All right. Um, that's it for this video. Hope you guys learned something. Um, Probably not, but... Well, they learned not what not to do. So you still learn something, if you think about it. I learned something. Hey, guy. So... I, uh, I Like I said, it was good. It turned out actually really well. Um, but that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Are we still functional? Thank <laughs> you.